Hey everybody, I'm Mark Spectre Comics and I'm back. This time, with my favorite video to make of the month, my beer and comics. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. On the road to 1,000 subscribers, if you haven't seen my video, check it out. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Um, got some cool stuff planned for when we get towards the 1,000 mark. So uh, when we get there, I'll make that announcement. Um, like I said in the uh, intro, it's my favorite video of the month to make. It's the beer and comics. Um, got my package in the mail, it was yesterday, um, mystery beer box, if you haven't seen these videos before, I, uh, get a subscription, or I've been given subscriptions in the past to, uh, mystery beer, uh, basically mystery beer call. I get two different micro craft breweries from across the country, once in a rare time, we'll get it internationally, um, and they can be varied from ales to stouts. So I'm um, always excited to open up these and uh, see what I get. And then I'll show you some of my recent pickups. And uh, let's go from there. Um, also, shout out my channel sponsor, Bombardier and Sons. Check out their shop. There's some great exclusives. And um, use my discount code MSC10 to get 10% off your first purchase. All right, so what am I drinking today? So I got from Narragansett Brewery here in Rhode Island. I got Gorg Reaper, which is a pumpkin ale. And uh, obviously it's in season right now. My favorite time of the year is obviously the fall. So uh, I'll be drinking a lot of pumpkin ales, well, pumpkin-related beers, and uh, some Oktoberfest. So... I'm actually drinking out of a nice little Moonlight glass that was uh, A-OK -okay to me from my great friend Kevin, Karate Kevin. So uh, thanks for that. I've uh, just cleaned it out tonight, so I'm drinking out of it for the first time. And uh, also it came with this really cool um, Arachnite, uh, like Funko Pop. So uh, it's like, a t I guess, a tumbler? Uh, Funko Pop, I don't. But uh, it's a pretty cool design. If you're not familiar with Arachnite, it's actually a combination of Moon Knight and Spider Man. So, pretty cool. So, I got that right next to me today for my unboxing. All right. So, um, I typically start with the beer first, I'll show off half of those. And then I'll show off some comics, and then I'll finish off with the last two beers. So, let me get that package. And, uh, so you can see, it's a good size package. And we'll start with that, and then uh, I'll talk a little about it. This is actually the last month of the current subscription, so I'm going to have to uh, renew. Otherwise, I won't have any for September. So there are many beer subscriptions out there. Um, this is typically the same one that I usually get. And uh, they've been really good. So this is from the uh, Beer of the Month Club. So, all right. Get this to the side and uh, they typically give you like I said if you watched any of these videos in the past they give you a, a little flyer there it says malt of the earth and it tells you the two um, the two breweries that you're beginning to get in. so it's um, Sumerian Brewing Company out of Woodensville Washington and Oso Brewing Company out of Clover Wisconsin so, if you guys have ever had these breweries, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Um, 
So I can see one of them right now is going to be a Pilsner. All right, so let's uh, open these up first, and uh, we'll open the first two, and then we'll go to the uh, comics. What do we got here? So, from Oso Brewing Company, <laughs> this is a pretty cool label. Um, we got Rusty Red, and uh, that's pretty cool. And it actually, I like how it has the uh, state of Wisconsin there in the, um, in the label for Oso. Established in 2007. I've never heard of this brewing company, so it's got to be definitely a micro micro craft brewery um, Rusty red So this is an ale and um, Let's see what I have some information on this one um, it Says smooth malty rich and bready. I don't think I've ever heard that uh, uh, Term written on a beer label bready um, and uh oh there you go 5.4 percent abv all right pretty cool cool and uh let's see the second one what are we gonna get all right so we got the uh from the sumerian sumerian brewing company we got holy water <laughs> citra ipa so uh it says handcrafted in Woodenville, Washington. I also like that. It's a pretty cool logo. I like the Sumerian. Nice. The origin of beer. Um, holy water. Nothing shy about our motive here. Showcasing one of the Northwest's favorite hop citra, a clean, crisp malt body boasts a delicate balance with our signature heavy handed late hopping addition. And uh, let's see what we got here. Five and a half percent ABV. Cool. Very cool. So then we'll open up the uh, the other two after. We'll check those out. So I got a couple of things here. Um, one was actually a purchase from the uh, local auction house here in Rhode Island. Um, I did not get a chance to do a preview for it. I was just, uh, time just got by me. It was a pretty cool auction. Um, you can check it out. It, it's already been resulted. It was a couple weeks ago. It was actually a pop culture and comics related auction. Had to do with a lot of Wu-Tang Clan. Um, clothing, shoes, um, like video games. A lot of like just cool pop culture Wu-Tang. So if you were a big fan of Wu-Tang Clan growing up, I was. And they had a lot of really neat stuff there. And then they had some comics too towards the end. I think there was about, I want to say maybe 50 to 100-ish comics or so. Um, ended up picking up just one, one graded book. I thought I picked it up for a pretty good price. And there's um, a ton of speculation hidden behind it. Um, so I'll show you what I ended up picking up and, uh, ended up being first appearance of, so Booster Gold, Booster Gold number one. This is from, uh, DC Comics from February of 1986. Came, it's a CGC 9.8 white pager. Um, uh, really cool back cover as well. It says Voltron, go Voltron Force. Um, so a really cool book has a ton of speculation, um, pertaining to the upcoming Blue Beetle, uh, movie. I think it's a, I think it's a movie. Yeah. Um, first appearance of Booster Gold, Skeets, and Blackguard, uh, Dan Jurgens story and cover and Dan Jurgens and Mike DiCarlo artwork. Just a really cool cover if you ask me. Um, it is a newsstand. It doesn't really matter in 86 it's about pretty close to a 50 50 distribution in 86 but some people say it's more desirable because of the newsstand i don't know. go figure but um really cool pickup i picked this up for what did i get this for
uh, just over 300 bucks. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. Um, these books were trending much higher about a year ago. I want to say it was about five, six hundred, five, six hundred dollars for a nine eight. So um, I, I think I bought it for a pretty good price. Um, these are going to go right back up. I'm pretty sure of it. And if, obviously, if this character shows up, it's going to go. It's going to definitely double. So I think I'll do pretty well on this book. Um, the other thing I ended up getting was so this there's um all right let me pull this over there's uh a show a comic show they do i think five or six times a year here in uh, franklin massachusetts um tried to go there a few times in the past it just didn't work out timing wise but um this past weekend i had that opportunity to go even though it was short in the afternoon at an Elks Lodge so they had a it's like a comics toys video games um, action figures type of like show a lot of local vendors a lot of um, LCS is a lot of you know just random people trying to sell some cool stuff there um, I got there a little after 1 30 the show is from like 10 to 3 you know I this is the only opportunity I had time wise to go if I had the choice that I would have went there at 10 just so I had more time to scope through the whole area they had some great stuff but by the time I got there at 1 30 they a lot of the vendors were starting to pack up which was really annoying you know because because the show was there till three o'clock so people were already like packing up some of their long boxes putting them in you know in trolleys and bringing them back to their cars so that was pretty frustrating um, so I didn't really like get a chance to really dig as much as I wanted through through the back issues and stuff like that. I did spend a little bit of time, but um, it, it could have been more. So uh, that was a bit frustrating. They have two more shows coming up in September and one, I think, in November. And um, so we'll see. We'll see. Cross my fingers. I could probably go back. But um, didn't end up picking up any comics there. But I did pick up some original art. So um, I got, oh, I also got uh, my son a, a few, uh, what did I get him? A cool car. I got him one of those like um, die cast cars from the movie Cars. So he liked that. Um, he was getting a little antsy there. So um, I talked to this uh, guy there and he was saying he, he was selling some original art. And I was like, oh, yeah, cool. You know, who's the original art from? I was like, it's from me. <laughs> So I was like, oh, damn, I feel like a dumbass. But uh, so we started talking a little bit, and um, he said, you know, I was originally in the military, uh, so I'm retired U.S. Navy, served for 34 years. Um, I believe he said he enlisted and had achieved the highest ranking you could achieve from an enlisted naval um, in the military. If I'm not mistaken, is uh, Master Petty Officer, I, something like that. I could be wrong. I'm, I don't know all the military ranks, so apologies. Apologies for the people who've served. Um, so he, he had achieved that highest ranking of an, you know, for a non-commissioned officer. And um, he was telling me that the Navy was asking him to re-enlist for another four years. I was like, no, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I served for 34 years. So, <laughs> um, And then he had just started doing original artwork, just like maybe six, seven years you know, ago. So um, I ended up picking up five uh, pieces of original art. You know, I was like, it looked pretty cool. And uh, I didn't have any, like, you know, 11 by 17 original art pieces. So I uh, ended up picking up a few, and uh, I picked up four, and then he threw one in for free for, for my son. So uh, I'm going to show you what I got. So, so here you go. Here's the first piece. You got uh, Superman and Black Adam. Really nice piece. And uh, so it's like pencils, pencils and inks. 
I think that looks fantastic. So uh, that was one of them. Here's another really nice Superman one. This is uh, this is an aerial scene. So you can see like uh, the mountains there in the bottom. Really nice. Even like the, uh, the musculature on there looks pretty good if you ask me for uh, Superman. And I got one more of Superman. And this is like a different, different type of action scene here. And he's uh, got his buddy there, Aquaman. And um, a little water scene here. And you can see there's some missiles there going towards uh, both Superman and Aquaman as they're right on the water. Really nice. And then we got two Marvel ones here. This one's pretty cool. I like this one. This is... Uh, you got Jack Russell here, Werewolf by Night. You can see there the moon on the corner and the building. Really nice. And then the last one, got a Spidey. How to pick up a Spider-Man, right? So, got a nice little city scene of Spider-Man. Swinging there on the web. You can see the bridge there at the bottom. Pretty cool scene. His hand looks a little, I don't know, a little strange there, but I guess it's just the angle of it. But, uh, Really nice. So I thought that was really cool. And he had a ton in there. A ton of ton of original artwork. Um, just uh, mainly Marvel and DC. I think he had some... Um, he did have some indie work there too. He did have some Walking Dead. I remember seeing some Daryl in there. Now that I think of it. Uh, but for the most part, it was Marvel and DC. And uh, just fantastic, fantastic work. And, you know, obviously, he's supporting somebody who's, you know, in the military, which, you know, is always a win-win in my book. So uh, that was the weekly comic-related purchases. We're going to finish this off with the last two beers. And then we'll call it a wrap. So uh, the second beer from Oso Brewing Company is a wheat ale, the Big 2.0. <laughs> I like these. These are nice. These smooth labels. I like the colors are striking on there. And it's simple. Big 2.0. Um, and uh, so it's a wheat ale brewed with orange peel and fermented with Voss Kivik. Oh, so this will be a, this will be an interesting interesting try. I'm be excited to try this one. Yeah, four point six ABV, so a lighter beer. So can't go wrong with that. It's gonna be, I would imagine, really really smooth. And then the last beer we we showed this one on the uh, on the pamphlet. This is from Sumerian Brewing Company. It's called Lucidity. It's a Pilsner. Another nice label. Um, nice little shine to it. So it's a Czech style Pilsner hopped with Saz and Tetnanger hops. So um, this is, I would imagine, also a light beer. Pilsners are usually light beers. Yep. 5%. 5% ABV. So 
I think these are fantastic. Uh, mystery beer call. Two nice micro craft breweries that I'm excited to try out. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, comics I showed off and the original artwork. Um, probably going to frame, frame one or two of these. These are nice. I, I really like these and then I'll probably do a giveaway if you guys are interested. Let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. Would you guys be uh, interested in one of these for the giveaway? And if you are, let me know which one just so I can have an idea. I'll probably throw that in for the uh, thousand subscriber giveaway. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below. And until next time, Mark's with the Comics. Out.